All right, guys. Good morning. Back uh, in the neighbor's shop, I couldn't, I couldn't keep fighting that snow. That with the old John Deere, it would take that snow through the combine, and in a couple hours, uh, five ten acres on a cold day, that that snow would have been gone from inside the combine, and it would have been back to normal. But this combine, things are a little bit different inside the, the slope of tins and stuff, and that snow was rock hard ice. I went in with my Leatherman and it was thump. It wasn't just some snow on top of the sieves. It was that 29 degree day when we were combining and it just turned to ice with, with some chaff in it. It's just, just hard, just hard. So combine's here, let it warm up overnight, let it thaw. While we're here, um, we found, I haven't been using the chaff spreader because uh, when we were doing our inspection and just kind of playing with the machine, we found that the little pump was bad up here. Um, they had a broken hose, just a little bleed line was broke back here. Um, so I ordered that hose. Well, the hose comes in, so I plug the system in, <clears throat> go to turn it on, and it don't turn on. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I called, that's when I called back to Ziegler, and I said, oh, check that pump. You know, that belt sometimes breaks. And... And I said, well, that pump sounds kind of growly when you turn it over by hand. It don't sound pretty at all. Um, so we got that pump. I'll be here today. I got the relay for the warmer to finish my Arctic package. So on the key switch, just like our pickups, there's a, a relay, a, a heater for the intake. Um, get that on. And then uh, I got one snap ring to put on. There was a snap ring missing. Um, other than that... It's just a little bit of greasing, and uh, I guess the big thing is just get the ice out of the inside. <clears throat> so we're just taking advantage, not taking advantage, I pleaded, pleadedly, head in hand, heart in hand to the neighbor if they still have an open stall I can use uh, to let this thing thaw out. The repair I can do out in the field if I had to, but there, there was just no beating that snow inside. So it's kind of a maintenance day here. Everything at the farm is full for right now. Um, so we got, uh, in a couple days, I'll get set up to transfer from the, the dry bin of corn, get the last of the beans out, and then I can transfer some corn over. And uh, there'll be lots of action back to it next week, uh, but pretty quiet this weekend, I think. And so I don't know... I don't know what's happening. I, I don't know when I can. One neighbor has a grain vac, so I don't know when I can borrow that to finish sweeping out the the wet bin and or for the the bean bin. Um, I, I have no idea what's happening after 10 minutes from now. <laughs> so, so that's today, and uh, that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. So I think too bad the belt. I grab the light. So the new belt is is hanging there um there we go focus camera so the new belt's in just had to move this big triple belt this tightener you can loosen down but you don't want to take it all the way off the belt you just kind of manhandle you just get it started a little bit and then just roll the shiv over and let the belt run off kind of deal um you don't want that tightener to come off all the way but yeah, so it, honestly, that was like, uh, now that I've done it once, I bet you could do it the next time. Um, you could, you could change this, you know, you could change this little pump belt out in about 15 minutes next time. And so, so yeah, overall, they're not a bad machine to work on from what I'm experiencing, but well, let's get up and see what it takes to work on that pump. Guys, I know it's going to be hard for you to see because of the reflection of light. Um... That little pump looks absolutely gorgeous inside. There's not a scratch in the housing. Um, so what we're looking at is a little gear pump. Let me see if I can get the light to, to stand here and be cooperative. So it's a gear pump. So all you're doing is oil's coming in on this bottom side. As the gears roll together, it squirts the, or it goes this way oil comes around the gears and as the gears come together the oil gets squirted out your pressure side um, <clears throat> when I reached up here and grabbed it when I found there's no belt 
I rolled it and it felt just growly, but I didn't realize at the time that the idler was rubbing against it. So I was feeling them two pulleys rub together. Um, getting looking at them, there's not a single scratch on any of them gear teeth. There's not a single scratch in the housing. I, I have zero reason. I guess I'll pay the restocking fee on the pump, <clears throat> put this guy back together and put the belt on, and, and we're good to go as far as this goes. Uh, good news there. But, yeah, that, that thing, I don't know. That, that pump looks, looks just too beautiful inside to replace. It's, it's, I don't know. It's too gorgeous. Put it back together, put the belt on. That problem's done, and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. Just wouldn't be working on a combine if you didn't need a wrench with four angles in it and an arm with three angles in it <laughs> and, uh, and a shoulder out of the top of your head for your other arm. So it looks pretty simple just to get to that nut, but the angle you got to get the wrench at because on the front side you got pulleys and stuff. Um, <laughs> so the one, one kind of slow, but you just pick away. Luckily you only need 20 or 30 turns and that spring is back to tight. And so belt's on. Belt's on. We just need to get some tension on that tightener. So when I say iced up, on top of them tines, that's a four inch wall of ice and snow that isn't, that ain't supposed to be there. Um, and that's from sitting overnight. <sighs> so I'll get the burner in here. Get the burner in here and uh, the space heater and help get some heat going inside this thing. You can feel the coldness inside back here. It's still just a block of ice. But that that's what we're trying to fight. And there's ice down below the chaffer. You know, the chaffer here is fairly clean, but this below the sieve, the, the sheet metal has ice built on it so the corn can't flow down into the augers like it's supposed to. Lights, uh, that one came on as just the bulb was dirty around the, the thing. I gotta get that blinker, that hood light, and then there's a service light. You're supposed to be able to turn on a service light. So I gotta check that bulb out. And uh, I think if I can get that flasher to work, uh, I'll be very happy. I'll be very happy.